Hey, this is Keith Everett from KeithEverettOnline.com, and today what I'm going to do is show you um, how to use Evernote. Evernote is um, it can be a cloud-based version or it can actually be an app itself, and you can store all of your notes there. You can completely declutter your desk and declutter clutter from your life. Now, another way to describe Evernote is is a library. You can actually have a library of your notebooks in one place to access at any time and within those notebooks you can of course put related notes. Now the great thing about Evernote is other people can also access it so you can actually give this over to your team to add and to use the information within. So let's get started. What is Evernote for? Well, this is going to be the cloud-based version I'm talking about, but it's also a program from, for your Mac or for Windows. Now, you can use it on uh, the iOS operating system, also for your Android. So the first thing I'm going to do is just log in and show you the dashboard behind the latest version of Evernote for Windows. Okay, so now we're here. What exactly can you do with it? Well, it's about creating notes and running here in this column is all of your current notes. Now, at this particular time, there are 87 notes on this, um, in this Evernote system. So you will see those here. If I just scroll down, you will see all of your notes. Now you can see that some of these notes actually have clippings within them and this is made extremely easy with this system because you can get a web clipper, the Evernote web clipper, and um, you simply add it to your browser and then whenever you go to a website you can just clip certain elements of that website and store them here, which is a great little tool really. But let's get into the notes. So here are your notes. How do you create a note in the first place. Now it's very simple to add a note. You just come up here and click New Note, all right? And then you can see this notepad starts to form here on the right-hand side. Now you need to give it a title first of all. So if I put in Note One, you'll see next door in this particular column, Note One appears. Then what you do is you just add your note. Now as I click into that area, you can see all these formatting tools here appear. So it's kind of like the standard stuff that you would do, uh, most of which you would see appear in something like WordPress, where you can change the font, change the font size. Uh, you can add files. And also, this is very neat, right on the end here, top right, you can add a voice message to this note. So you can add a voice note to it as well, which is incredible. You just click on that, and as you can see, as I'm talking, you can record that and just add that to your notes. So it's a very nifty little tool. Um, you can set reminders um, when you need to kind of go back to the note if you like and that kind of thing. You can add dates. Um, but what you're doing is you're creating notes to add to notebooks and up here in the top left hand corner would be a a list of all of the notebooks you've created. Remember I said to you earlier it's like creating a library. Well, What you do is you create this library of notebooks and within each notebook you can add the specific note. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding a note to a specific notebook. Now obviously if you're new to this you haven't created any notebooks yet so we will get onto that in a second. Just very, very quickly, when I clicked on Reminder there, you'll see this come up in this column um, and you can be sent an email um, when the actual note is due. So you can do a note to yourself and then you can create this uh, reminder and it will email you on the date when that note's due. So if you if you want to be reminded, for instance, that it's your wife's anniversary, you can create a note there and get it delivered on on the day before of your wife's anniversary. Just a little reminder. Okay, so it's just a nifty little tool, creating notes, and um, it's all pretty standard stuff. You can share your notes too. Um, this is a good thing about this whole system. You can share um, notes to your other um, 
operating systems. So in other words, everything you do on this cloud-based system, providing you've got the app on your um, your smartphone or on your Android, etc., uh, you can uh, sync it between all of those systems in one, so you can access this information from anywhere. And you can also, um, you know, as I said earlier, you can have your team access this information too so they could be updating this information during the day and you could be seeing that updated information yourself in the evening um, which is which is very useful it's a useful tool okay so here's how we create a notebook for your notes to go in we just simply go over to the left column where it says notebooks and you'll see here is a list of my existing notebooks already and right by the right hand side of each name of notebook it will tell you how many notes are in there and by clicking this little spindle to the right here you can change the name of the notebook you can make it your default notebook and by clicking on this other icon you can actually share it you can share it with individuals or you can create a public link to that notebook so you can actually have a URL and uh, someone that you want to can access that notebook anytime all right when you want to create a new notebook you just come up to the top here where this cross is and just click on new notebook you type in the name of your new notebook and there you can synchronize it if you leave it as default you can make this your default notebook um, you know you, you, it says you cannot change notebook type once a notebook has been created so make sure you get that correct in the first place so that's how to create notebooks now let's just come across the top here and um, just quickly go through one or two of these uh, if you click on sync here's where you can synchronize all of your activities so in other words what you can do is you just update and it will update across all of your synchronized systems that you've 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 got linked to this you've got synchronized to this so you do that by just clicking sync now next door to this you've got activity if you click that it will tell you what you've been doing in other words it's just told me I've synced it 15 seconds ago it's um, it's telling me I've emailed Evernote to that address so in other words it's a list of what's been going on so if your team have been working with you uh, during the day and they've been doing specific things you can see what they've been doing just by clicking on activity now one of the things I particularly like about Evernote is the web clipper and um, I'm using Chrome here Google Chrome so I've just added this to the browser and you can see up the top right here there is Web Clipper. Now you do have to sign into it, so just bear me one second and I'll sign. Now you can see as I've signed in, this screen comes up and it's asking me do I want to clip the article, a simplified article, a full page, or do I want to just bookmark it, or do I want to take a screenshot? So I've got several different things that I can do here. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just take a screenshot. Now if you heard that, that is actually a screenshot captured of what I want to keep. Then all I do is I come down the bottom here and I click on save. Now it's simply it's telling me it's clipped it and it's asking me to open it in Evernote. Now you can see I've got the Evernote browser here there's Evernote and there is what we've just clipped it's actually just saved that now into my Evernote notes and I can save that as what I want I've saved it as coaching clients but I could have saved it as anything and in any book any um, notebook I wanted so that is just a brief overview of Evernote because the video this video is now getting a little bit long so I just wanted to give you an idea of what Evernote can do for you and how much it's really saved a lot of time in my life it's really organized my life and there are numerous things you can use Evernote for so please do uh, leave me a comment below and a thumbs up if you've if you've liked this video I appreciate that and I'll speak to you soon bye for now